Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really do appreciate your time. I was scrolling on Facebook this morning and I came across this video of this white woman who clearly dates um, mainly black men. Uh, like aside from this video, if you listen to her cadence and the way she talks, like her voice inflection, she, you know, is doing her uh, black American performance, you know, her, she, she has a black scent, just all of the, the, the you know, typical telltale signs of a white woman who has a mixed child named Jaden. This is clearly what we are looking at. And she is going through a list of her three baby daddies and she is rating them um, <laughs> one by one um, on a scale of 10. So just, just take a look at this video, listen to some of the comments that she makes and um, just, just, just kind of think about what she's saying and just really put into perspective why black men would be having children with somebody like this when she clearly is racist. So let's take a look. My first baby daddy, um, Ace, uh, he is a fucking ladies man. He is fine as hell, bitches. I had to fight everybody over this man. But I was number one, so it didn't matter. <laughs> so she's, you know, acts like a black person, you know, well, not even really doing the stereotypes of a black person, but what she thinks. Yeah, it's already it's the cringe is high. But take a look at her weight as well. And listen, there is no problem with being, you know, plus size. You know, everyone's bodies are different. It is what it is. But I do think that it's quite interesting how, you know, whenever you hear that stereotype about, you know, plus size white women getting with black men, um, it just for me majority of the time it turns out to be true so I think it's I think it's very interesting that I don't know if this white woman will be able to get the same love and attention in her community because if you look at the black man she's standing next to and even you know the rest of the black men that she shows in this video they are what would be, what would be considered attractive in our community now I wouldn't personally go near these men with a 10-foot pole let alone my vagina but I just think that's interesting. If you look at their, you know, their attraction ratings, she rates lower than all of her baby daddies. So let's, yeah, let's keep watching. Um, I truly believed if he wasn't murdered that we would have had all of our kids together and we would probably still be together until this day. Only because of the simple fact is I'm a dumb bitch and he's in love with me. But whatever. I would give him a 7 out of 10. I don't really like that he was like always in the streets, but so I give him a seven to ten. Love him to death, still to this day. Um, zero out of ten for dying. That was fucked up. Really fucked me up with that one. This motherfucker here. <laughs> so apparently, uh, him dying was a huge inconvenience for her. And that, uh, the way, the way she chooses to express that to me is again, very telling of the way she probably actually feels about black people, let alone the men that she has chosen to lay down and have raw sex with, you know, he, she's not expressing like, oh, you know, I'm sad that he died. It's just like, oh, he went ahead and died and left me with these black kids. You know, like that's, that's, that's basically what I'm getting from what she's saying. So let's continue to watch this, this foolishness. This is my second baby daddy, too tall. Um, he's a piece of shit. Uh, I think he has a few other kids. I've tried to find family members of his or baby mamas or anything to kind of connect him to my son, to his family. Cannot find anything. No one's ever reached out to me. No one gives a fuck. He hasn't seen his son literally since he was like two or three, four months old. He's only seen his son like two times. Didn't come to the delivery, even though I called his phone, and asked him to come. Gave me $80 when I had the baby, and that's all the money I've ever gotten from him. He's been on child support for like three years and haven't seen a dime. So he's a loser. Zero out of fucking 10. Awful. Would not recommend. This is my third baby daddy, White Mike. Um, love the guy. Great guy. <laughs> Cheater, but a great guy. Um, good stepdaddy. Takes care of his family. Pisses me the fuck off. Ready to fight him. Um, I give him a... So... 
I just honestly, um, at the end of the day, what I see on the internet and just the, just the videos I come across, videos like this one, in fact, it just, it really shows me that the bar is on the floor. I don't know. It just concerns me when I see these types, these types of things. I'm always concerned about the children involved in these situations, in particular, when you have a child being raised by a white woman with a black father and particularly a racist white woman with most likely a self-hating black father those children god god forbid they can have so many different issues with you know their self-esteem their identity it's so many things that are liable to happen when you have this coupling this this mix of racism and something it's it's sad because that's when you see the same like like you see all the time those videos on tiktok of biracial kids speaking about you know what they've learned so far and what their issues were and how they had to overcome them i just want to say please don't do this if you're if if, if you're at least going to have these types of relationships, don't have kids. Don't have kids. Mess with each other. You know, if you're a fat white woman, boost your self-esteem with the black man. If you're a black man that has, you know, self-hating issues, escape whatever reality you think you can with your white woman. Just please, oh God, please don't have kids. That's my only request. Okay, I'm going to play the rest of the video. Hold on. Eight out of ten. He's all right. That thing. Good. <laughs> um. <coughs> he ain't got no other kids. No problems there. He's just a fucking weirdo. Anyways. What did I give him? 8 out of 10? 9 out of 10? So, keeping in fashion with the stereotypes that abound from this video, she mentions his penis size and so yeah it's pretty clear what type of white woman this is and again the type of black men that she is with please don't have kids if you're gonna get together and have sex with each other just make sure kids don't come out of the situation we don't need any more confused biracial children with self-esteem and self-identity issues simply because the parents have their own issues that they're not resolving okay so that's all i have to say about this video if you are feeling what i'm saying please comment below anything i didn't mention in this video comment below as well don't forget to give my video a thumbs up before you go thank you so much for watching take care